Hello everyone and welcome again boys and guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am going today to show you what I have been working on and it's been like a few days I haven't recorded anything. To be honest, I was so busy at work and I was doing some stuff and I got a little bit very bad sick, to be honest. I was having a very bad cold. It wasn't that bad, but then I started to have a little bit of headache, but thank God, you know, it's better now. Now I need to take all these ones i've been playing here and there you know bit and pieces trying to do some stuff as you can see i did this side as well and it's like completed so all i need to do build a nice beautiful building above it make it look like a nice villagers factory something like that so technically we need to do some buildings in this village or in this town um i need to build the item elevator oh yeah by the way as you can see what i've been working on as well i've been doing that part in there it took some time but you know thank god it's it's fine now and i need to hide all that back with some kind of blocks and uh, the village i added some more doors so because the villagers i don't know why they're not spawning too much now and these iron golems oh they have a baby in there these iron golems keep spawning now which is good so i keep getting the, some of these iron golems now i go down i kill him and then another iron golem will spawn all right now first thing first let me show you what i have done in here as you can see i removed all my items and i made this like small middle stair in there i'll be working on it for better look as well and this is well this is still empty i need to fill up that side as well and this side is full and i put this glass in here to separate all these ones i dug down one more block so any of these villagers if i push down the whatever i press the button and they fall down they hang on that rail in there and so they always stay in there if i need them i move them somewhere else if i needed to build another farm or something which is i'm thinking to build a villagers farm a little bit far maybe it will help to make them spawn more even of these villagers right in here i've been doing some more farming and trying to tidy some stuff i got some raw chicken some beef and some coal as well for these kind of buildings some papers um you know some of these villagers need papers the cartographers as well and i've been farming all these melons and all these all the time as well um one more thing you see the uh x the diamond axe i have which is awesome oh let me show you before i go silk touch in there i marked it as well because i don't want to forget any of these ones and this is the mending and i try to break the button because i don't want to press him by mistake because i did it for one of these ones by mistake and it was painful to get him back into his place but it wasn't that bad you know all i did i opened the back in there put railing push him into it come back all the way drag him into that one and it goes back to there and then i have to take out all these blocks i did add as well all right i still have one one villager in there and to be honest i haven't played for the last two three days anything let me check what is he carrying can i cartographer okay i'll be dealing with these cartographers as you know we'll probably have to go to these uh dark oak or kind of mention we have to see what's happening and look how much i have xp because of these farming i got tons and tons of these farmings now and i try to get them raw because i need this raw meat for for dealing with these villagers and this is what i built i put all you need to do is just put a piston above them with the block and voila and you get tons of these stuff and the cow the beef i don't think we need beef which is good so now we get lots of meat from them and the chicken i need raw chicken so it's better to choke them like this and get lots of chicken and look how much eggs i have now Ooh. okay chickens breeding like crazy in this area and I think because I keep taking these eggs and putting them there, this is what's happening. They breed like crazy because these chickens, when I put the eggs, they hatch and then they start throwing their eggs down there. All right. Now, first thing first, as I said, I'm going to be building a nice factory in there. We need to work on that item elevator from that bottom part in there. And this is how wide it is now. I emptied some blocks, as you can see, I put a rubbish bin in there and a rubbish bin in there because I keep getting tons and tons of blocks and I keep throwing. Um, so now I feel better like, you know, I still have some items in there in these chests, 
but to be honest some most of these ones i probably have to throw as well because i don't need too many and i cleared all this part to make it a little bit neater but we need to build the item elevator and we need to build a something cool in there and to build all that i don't know if we can put it on one video but i don't want to squeeze it and make it like about 45 or 40 minutes video so i'm going to try to make it about 20 ish kind of um, minutes video all right the item elevator have to go somewhere from the bottom there all the way up here now the best part is what i need to do i'm going to remove these chests from here probably keep one double chest somewhere on these blocks and then we're going to be using some hoppers to drag all the items from wherever they drop the sugar canes and the slime from the bottom as well there so they all will be picked up and pushed all the way into this area in here and we will try probably to have an access or maybe another power drill or something to go inside a small house in there and we will be working on that house to make it a nice big house and i'll see how it goes so be right back i'm going to get my stuff ready get all that stuff emptied from this area and then uh, probably make some hoppers and yeah i think i have tons of iron in the uh, what do you call it um the iron golem farm oh yeah we got lots of them so let's take one two three four five oops i don't want any flowers let's leave the flower in there i tell you what i'm going to make this for flowers and just make this for iron like so we got tons and tons of iron in there and let's keep that for flowers <laughs> lots of flowers in there make that as well for iron so that will give me a beautiful space whenever i come here i'll have tons of iron leave these two lines just for spare or we could leave only one line in case we don't have too much space for flower or iron they could go there all right uh we got we got lots of iron anyway so i need to build up some more hoppers and see how things goes oh i need to pick them all all the iron because i think i'll be needing more hoppers if i didn't do it with hoppers i'm going to be doing it with the mine car trailing so i try to save some iron here and there as well and yeah i think that's that should be it now it's all empty in there okay be right back after i saw uh, all these whatever i need tools and uh, i'll dig down all that space i'll see you in a bit hello again everyone and welcome back i just been working on it for like few hours to be honest probably like three four five hours and it is so freaking too much too much pain to do it because i have it too much deep to the bottom of this well it, uh, it reaches the bedrock and i have to replace all that stuff let me show you what i have been doing and this is all the item elevator comes to this part into here and it goes down there i'll come back for this and i'll show you what i have been working on and i've been digging through that tunnel and i made it goes all the way to my house and now which is a million times better anything i need i don't need even to come to this way anymore so anything i need to collect it will be in my house all right first thing first as you can see now all the chest is empty and I have to put this layout in here. I put all the items as well in my house because I was fed up. Keep carrying too many stuff to do all these stuff, to be honest. Because, you know, you keep carrying repeaters, comparators, redstone, redstone torches and all this stuff. And I have hoppers underneath these ones now. So underneath the chests and they all connected all the way. Oops. To here. Let me show you. You can see, I think the hoppers all the way to the back there. And it comes all the way. I think there is about 27 hopper in there. And it comes all the way to here. And it reaches these uh, these block, these hoppers. And it drops down. And it comes to this dropper in there. And it pushes the items all the way up. Now this part is only for the slime. And as you can see, I have to lift up all that because I can't do it to the ground. So I have to redecorate every single thing in here to lift it up one, two, three blocks high. So I'll be able to put the hoppers in there. Otherwise, I need to go below the bedrock and, you know, you can't break the bedrock. So that was really painful because I have to redecorate all that part. But I love it. It looks much better, to be honest. Now, it took some time, but it is worth it. 
all right i don't want to make myself feel bad about it because i've been working on it so much all right and let me show you now the sugar cane okay let's continue with this one and then i'll take you through the sugar cane and i'll show you how i did it as well because i built a new small rooms in inside my house at the bottom of the basement of my house and i have two separate places for each of these items okay now i think the minecart will be coming from here this is for the slime and when it reaches about 51 in there that cart comes all the way to here and it picks it picks these stuff up okay hopefully it comes now come on we need some of these slime to drop down and it will take some time for the items to be honest to, to reach all the way into here now one thing because i had too many slime in there and it was jamming in here so i have to keep coming filling up myself and you know getting these stuff from here filling it up because all that line of of uh, hoppers was full and um, the dropper keep pushing all these items all the way up into here and they keep like packing in here so i have to keep helping the uh, mine cart to empty some of these stuff and i made tons of blocks because i had too many slime to be honest too many and it was it was really good so now i think this one is almost yeah i think the cart will be coming soon now yes you could see the cart is coming hello <laughs> you could see it. I, it was so freaking painful all right it empties it leaves about 34 every single time 33 to 34 and somehow another one comes instead and replace it now let me show you what it goes to and we skip the night and i'll show you all the way it worked with this one. Oh, by the way let me show you the setup for this one the setup is all you need to do hopper and put a comparator as you can see and it will give you one two three lines and you put a repeater and then you miss one line in there you put a redstone dust and you put this redstone torch and you connect it back to the power drill in there and that's the setup that's the main setup of all that going and coming back for this side now from the other side you make sure you drag all that red power goes all the way to whatever you want i mean if you want it 500,000 meter long it's up to you as you can see it works perfect but let me show you now the other line which is this side line you need to connect it because this circuit is only for that power to make it goes back and that circuit in there is to make to give it signal for the beginning where it stands and it empties all that stuff let me have some food and then it should be fine and i'll show you how it works to be honest it was a hassle digging all the underground reach it all the way to the house because i want to build something cool in there and you know i have no idea exactly but i'm thinking of a creeper spawner in there so i don't know I'll, I'll be working on that one all right yeah this is jessica sitting in there all right and it comes the slime comes into here you could see i have already this chest is full so i try to help as much as i can wow both of them yeah and now i've got some more in there so i need to take some of these slimes make them into blocks otherwise that will be packed in there yeah let's leave it there and let me make them into blocks um it will be quicker like this yep and yep yep see that's the best way to do it if you want to do it that way as well all right so let me let me do some more to be honest because that thing it will refill itself oh, silly me okay this is how much i'm getting tons and tons of these slimes to be honest it's too much slime okay let's leave these ones they will be filled up again I, you know me i like tidying but i don't want to tidy too much look how much slime i have now i got tons of slimes Ooh, we're going to have some fun probably build a big massive room and this is the sugar cane now that car that power comes is let me show you i need to break one of these blocks that power drain comes all the way to here and the wiring comes to that you could see the power drill in there now it's off the one below that mine cart and the, the red power is connected from the side of it let me see if i can show you from this side 
which is I need to break that block. Let me break it. Oops. Okay. You see that power? So the red when when they uh, when I have like about fifty to fifty one slime in the hopper in there I showed you earlier, that power reaches this point and this will power that power drain and that cart will go there pick up whatever it is extra and brings it back to here which is good now this is wow this uh, thing is green now quickly okay now this is for the slime now I did the same for the sugar cane but different technique I used and this is how much a sugar cane I have and I had even more than this sugar cane I had to do it as well like what I did for the slime I helped myself as well and I put some more papers in there which is I need to make some books let me make I need to make some like tons of books to be honest let me make some more books and then um, okay one two three come on stack one two three and stack we need one more stack yeah why not I mean now I'm getting tons of leather from these cow farms well which is good and this is another stack right so we got some good stacks now beautiful and i want to keep that for the papers i don't want them to go anywhere else okay now let me show you the um oops let's skip the night let me show you the sugar cane as well the sugar cane is completely different way i've done it with the power drills as well it's exactly the way it comes with this one but i didn't use like many hoppers i used the previous hopper we had in the um in that sugar cane farm and that makes it drags i mean drags it all the way back home because i was trying to save to be honest some of my hoppers i think i still have about probably nine hoppers i made loads of them and all of them gone i'm going to block that part in there i just left it for you so you could see and if i needed to um, probably put trap doors because sometimes I'll, i get worried if it's going to jump i don't think it will now i had to move that door into this side as you can see because that was a little bit okay the setup in here exactly the same the comparator after it reaches in here is about 11 which is not bad and it gives it power oh this is why 11 because i have it in two if i put it on three that would oh i think it's coming i could see the light yep it is coming when that light goes off that means there is some more sugar cane in that you could see now boom 10 now wow that is exciting so it leaves about 10 sugar canes in that space in there which is awesome and this is goes all the way as well and this is the same setup as you can see and you could do it into two blocks but if you leave it to two blocks that will give it less chance for it to pick up so it will be coming quickly and going normally if you leave it like longer it will keep most of the items in there if you shrink that that repeater it will reduce the amount it should stay in there okay now this side it took so much freaking digging i had to dig and dig and dig i was digging like two separate lines and then i said ah, i'd say i'll just dig one the middle line because i need to sort out all that wiring you could see all that wiring it's terrible but in the end it's doing its own job so this is what i am after i want to make sure yeah the uh, um, minecart goes into there i don't want to go there and stop it it's okay actually you can see this is where it goes and it drops all the items to the chest in there and this is how it works oh my god that was freaking hard timing to drag all that power and make it reaches there but it was fun to be honest because inside you you're like so excited you want to do something and you really want it to achieve whatever you're thinking about you want to reach the point you want it to reach Although it's not hard work, you know, it's simple work, it's simple, you know, red power connections, but um, the digging, this is what takes too much time to put all the layout down, all the foundation, and this is what makes it painful. But then when you start putting the redstones and working it out in your head, it will be fun and you could make it reach whatever line you want it to reach, make sure the other side, the red power reaches this red power there reaches any length you want it so make sure you keep putting repeaters as you can see the repeaters and that should makes it really really simple 
let's take few stacks and deal with uh, Jessica yeah I need to do some business with Jessica I need to make her give me some stuff to be honest oh wow 20 something feather we have in there god if I have to save all these imagine we could do wool from the feathers that would be fun and then you could dye the wool so it, they, they should to be honest make it like this <laughs> if they make it like this that would be cool all right Jessica is here we need to make some deals with her Jessica I'm going to give you some yeah yeah okay I haven't done any business with her yet I think I think I did like couple maybe can't even remember to be honest because I haven't been playing it for some time but you know not completely I keep popping on and off but um can't remember if I did any business with her and we got some XP there so what I'm going to do what we're going to do some upgrades as well and shunt some good stuff okay what okay chicken she can give us chicken we don't need the chicken anyway I think the chicken is locked now yeah for good is it yeah so what we need to do when it happens like this we need to to trade something different and let me see do we have any raw chicken in there no so let's make that line for raw chicken and as you can see I love tidying stuff like this we got how many we got 24 emeralds it's not bad next time I try okay let me let's uh, let me show you quickly we unlock her and then we could do like probably some more of these chickens we need pork this is pork. tell me you don't need more than 14 Wow all right, I'll bring some. I have tons, I think, in the uh, farm, the pig farm in there. Okay, let me go bring some more. And that will be fun. <laughs> that will be cool. I'm trying to save animals for Mendy books. You know, I'm happy now I have a beautiful, very good suit. Okay, how many feather? We got three feather. Cool see if you keep an eye on these chickens you never lose any of them but if they like gather too much in there this is the leather it's going well um, yeah look at that okay we leave some of these cooked beef cooked pork in there so basically that was very very freaking hard job to make it reach all the way back home because you know i prefer it to be honest a million times better than keeping it in there you know because i was planning to build a nice storage room but we could build something exciting in there and i have no idea yet what is it exactly um we will find out i will find out as well and um, it should be fun i'm trying to deal with her for all these emeralds okay now we go for the chicken as you can see okay I'm back come on yeah now this unlocked this is what I love about it so yeah it never locks all right we could do one more trade wow six by six you see these ones 56 emeralds that is fantastic this is so freaking good okay boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i really hope you do like this video and for the hard work it will be so 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 much appreciated if you leave a like on this video as well let me try to move some of these ones make them into a stack which is this is comes perfect into seven blocks and yep so we got some good emeralds now i'm thinking to do okay let's do oh yeah oh yeah i remember <coughs> okay let's i want to i want to do something good with diamonds you know i want to enjoy myself i don't want to keep them okay i want to do a frost walking boot probably add some stuff on it as well where is the frost this is the frost walking in there and this is a f aqua affinity frost walking fire aspect okay let's use that one sharpness knockback tool i don't need it to be honest i have knockback tool in that one yep okay let's do this boot with a oh we need some uh, lapis and we need to put it on the enchanting table what i'm doing okay let's see what can we get fire protection no i don't want fire protection i want the frost walking on it 
Okay. Now we got frost walking boots. <laughs> that is exciting. Um, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Um, mm, I could add some more stuff for it, but first, because I have too much XP, and when I have too much XP, I love to do some of these books in there. So let's. Okay, what did we get? Thorn only. Efficiency three. Lair. Oh my God, lair is crap. I have tons of lair. Sharpness three. All that books is terrible. Fire expert is not bad. Protection four is not bad. We could add it into these shoes, to be honest. Oh, okay. Efficiency two. Let's see what we're going to get. And this is what I love to do. Fire protection, sweeping edge. I like sweeping edge. And fire aspect smite oh my god smite is really terrible sharpness two knock back one i think i had i had another book as you can see this is how i do like tons and tons and tons of books power two i don't, I don't need power two and i think now most of them is feather falling i love feather falling we could put it on that shoes as well i have an oh feather falling four okay that's enough for now i'm going <coughs> sorry i think i have oh two i'm breaking two that's good we could add them and make them into a i'm breaking three book and just add it to the shoes and first walking two i'm breaking three and let's see fire protection All right now what i'm going to do i'm going to gain some of these xp as well it's very easy now when you do the farming you could get them and I have some stuff smelting in there hopefully by the time we got all that stuff okay we got 11 oh my god 11 okay boys and guys ladies and gentlemen i need to put all that stuff back so i don't want to waste your time watching me emptying it and tidying it as well so a like will be so so much appreciated please don't forget to share subscribe and uh, enjoy i really hope you do enjoy this quick video as well hopefully it's quick until next time have a nice day evening night good night everyone bye bye